her name is Failure. <laughs> Who are you? And what happened here? My name is Feller. I'm... I'm an Arda Yakshi. The Reaper's monsters have been hunting I don't really like my armor. It doesn't really fit. They're turning us into... Into those. Please. I saw them drag my sister Rila into the Great Hall. Please. Oh, help me save those her. Those Heller things are the... We have to do it fast. Asari Commandos left a bomb there. A bomb? But Rila could still be alive. She could be right, Shepard. But we came here to destroy the monastery. Shut up, Ashley. It's our home. And she's my sister. I didn't say that. She's headed to the Great Hall. Come on. Why'd you say that? You didn't have to tell her we're gonna blow up the whole fucking place, you idiot. God. It's not helpful. Despite this destruction, most of the damage to the monastery is cosmetic. Really? A remarkable amount of this complex is structurally intact. For now. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, do not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. Before evening prayer. Oh, shit. Ray. I guess so. What's up? That's not where we want to go. Oh, downstairs, yeah. Dumbass. It's me. Come on. Come on. Creepy. Okay, I'm supposed to be crouching underneath something right now. Pretty sure. 
Oh, you bitch, get out of my way. God damn. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, this gun's kind of useful. Never run out of ammo, so I never use anything else. All right, I got my spaghetti now. So I'm gonna watch some Archer. Wow. I eat. It's like I eat and play Mass Effect 2. Doesn't doesn't work. But uh, yeah. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for doing that. I don't know, but don't really care. Oh, I already finished that one. The world's greatest spy. All right, quiet down.
on every... Well, shut up! This is a burger from my family's restaurant. Bob's oh, Burger. <laughs> Set of books, Cyril. Oh, no. And I want see new shoes. Oh, buying new horse. Until ISIS... You get paper towels. And... So if you want paper towels in there, you'll just have to supply your own. Are you oh, kidding? Towels. Where do you get paper towels? And, last item, on a related note, I have no choice but to cut salaries. Oh, oh, the towels in my Eight percent across the board. No. And let's just put a lid on it. Do we have to supply our own lids? Look, I didn't invent the economy. And until ISIS gets in the black, we all have to make some sacrifices. So... Line one for you. It's your furrier. No. Oh, oh, Unbelievable. We have to cut back. But you're buying new horseshoes. Tell him to send over the gray fox. See? Sacrifice. At this rate, I'll be reduced to wearing Nutria. Yeah, and your horse with its fancy new shoes. Oh, for the... That's a farrier. I know. And this is Conrad Schlotz. Herr Schlotz controls all of Europe's videotech services. Videotech? Wow. Growth industry. So he's worth billions, and I want to convince him to invest in ISIS. Well, that's gonna be a tough sell. Uh... <clears throat> We've posted losses for 15 straight quarters, so... So that's why you're going to cook up a different set of books, Cyril. Oh, no, no. I'm not comfortable with that. Think you'd be more comfortable on another little vacation upstate? No, I was dating Alana, but since I suffer from sexual addiction, which these guys deny is even real, now they're treating me for... Can somebody please shut up that damn coyote? Call me trust, Pam? No. No, I would not. So unless you want me to send you back... I will start cooking the books. Good thing you know how to cheat. Hey, you know what? What? Enough! Now then, this is a two-prong operation. The books are prong one, while prong two is El Frente Rojo. <gasps> Derby Day wore that exact same hat. Shock. Herr Schlotz fears they may attempt a kidnapping during a birthday party he's throwing this weekend in Gestad. Ah, Gestad? Oh, yeah, count me in. Yeah, and me out. I'm not getting frostbite protecting some old German guy. Herr Schlotz isn't the intended victim. It's his daughter, Anka. Who obviously needs someone on her constantly, so I will be that someone who is constantly on her. Oh, oh please. Come back in, For short God's eyes. sake, Sterling, she's turning 17. Oh, oh. Even Sorry. for you, Archer. Uh, come on. She doesn't look like she's just turning 17. No, she looks like she's just turning 18. Exactly. Plus, Europeans use the metric system Sterling which... Sterling Mallory Archer, you will not touch a single hair on that girl. Uh, see how I let that just go by? Look at me. I am the perfect gentleman. No, this is completely unacceptable. I mean, cutbacks, I get it, but you cannot expect me to share a room with Ray. Oh, I'll be gentle. Uh, Mother, you know what he's implying, right? Stop whining, we're all making do. Why, I'm sharing a room with Lana. Hooray! And Pam's sleeping in the cellar. Yeah, and if money's so damn tight, why is she even here? Eh, she's me mule back a bunch of this crap. Huh? That crap is $300 a bottle, and you can't get it in America, so not another sip! And the rest of you make room in your luggage for ten liters apiece.